Hey everybody, LaserCoin here with Mahalo Video Games, and today we're taking you through another one of the Echoes in Bulletstorm. This one's going to be Collapse Building. You might remember this from the demo if you played it, uh, and I have chosen the weapons from the demo. First off, we're going to start things out by getting a Sadist and the Ding Dong uh, skill shots, and those are worth some serious points because I haven't done Sadist yet, and Ding Dong is a unique one that's tied to the level. Then I'm going to try and get the Mercy here. Yeah, it took a little bit of skill shooting but I finally got him in the balls and got the mercy kill and then I'm not gonna voodoo doll this guy I'm gonna pull him in here and I'm gonna uh, bullet kick him because if you voodoo doll him you can't do this and get the toxic love uh, kill skill shot so I'm gonna intoxicate myself here with toxic love and then grenade gag this guy toxic love will give me 250 plus another 125 from the grenade gag so and then I, I'll still get the voodoo doll achievement right there because I'll just voodoo another guy now we move into some trap shooting, and I think I'm going to slam dunk this other guy. I should, if I'm smart. No, I'm just going to wait for him to fall. I'll get the slam dunk later. Oh, he gets a voodoo doll. That's not bad either. And this guy over here on the turret, easy meat slicer. <coughs> that's uh, that's the easiest place to get a meat slicer is on a turret guy, so keep that in mind when you're on the other levels. And then this guy, once again, I want that toxic love bonus, so instead of just killing him outright, I'm going to pull him over here, and now we're going to rack up some very serious points. Kill this guy with a bullet slide and a rear entry. Excellent. Good. And that's my second one? Wow. And uh, then we're going to get the Toxic Glove. Now watch this. These guys in this tube here, we're going to set them on fire with the uh, the pistol here, the pistol's charge shot. And then we thumper them up into the air. We get Fly Swatter, Toxic Glove, Afterburner, and Firefighter. A bunch of skill shots for that. And I don't know why that guy just died for 10 points, but he did. And we're going to do it again. Uh, our Toxic Love is worn off, but we can still get Afterburner and Fly Swatter and rack up some kill points there and save ourselves some time of killing them individually. Uh, it is crucial to note that guys respawn in there, so you want to kill two ways of bad guys and then hit the elevator. A lot of people will run in there and just hit the elevator right away. No, don't do that. The guys won't respawn if you do that. You need to hit the tenderizer after two waves of baddies have come. So yeah, we're racking up some uh, serious kill points right now. And we just got to run through this part. Doesn't matter if those things hit you or not. I'll barely phase you. And I should have probably changed weapons there, I'll be honest. Uh, because new weapons mean new skill shots and more points. Uh, but I'm so comfortable with these weapons just from the demo and from only being able to play them in the demo that... I guess I just didn't feel like switching. I am going to drink this booze here, and we're going to start getting some intoxicated points. And, oh, I was trying to voodoo that guy through the uh, mesh or whatever that was. But uh, that didn't work out. That's okay. We'll just grenade gag that guy and get some intoxicated kills here. 100 points each for every intoxicated kill. And, oh, man, I feel like I should have got a bullet kick for that, but ah, whatever. And then we just crouch here. So yeah, we're already up to 8,985, and we still got a little bit of time to go. Here we go, we're going to get the shocker here. Kick him into these uh, wires and stuff. Ooh, shocker and misfire. Misfire happens when you hit someone with a charge shot, and then they die from something else. Not the charge shot. Hit him with the charge shot with the pistol, then they die from something else. Uh, and then, man, I love the fly swatter afterburner combo in this level. Just uh, racks up so many points so easily. Gets rid of those bad guys. Ooh, there's a voodoo doll. And voodoo dolls are good. Worth 100 points. Better than a bullet slide or a bullet kick. So, yeah. And I, w I would love to get another toxic love, but I don't know if that's going to happen. I forget if I got it on this playthrough or not. I'm trying to shoot this guy in the head. I think he's going to dodge me. I love how in this game you have, like, you're, you're borderline invincible. Oh, hey, I did get the Toxic Love. I was, I was going to say infinite health, but it's not really infinite. You're just very... And I really should be voodoo dialing these guys. Yes, voodoo doll and Toxic Love. That is the killer combination right there. 150 points per kill each time you do a voodoo doll Toxic Love. We're going to send this guy up in the air and bring him back down for the slam dunk. That'll get us 250 just for doing it once and then this guy should be a vertigo and sadist because I tied him up with the ball gag and meant to kick him into that uh, pit into oblivion but he decided to 
miss the pit entirely. I don't know what this guy's shooting at. Probably one of my teammates. Uh, but yeah, since he missed the pit, I get no skill shot points for that. I get Sadist for killing that guy before the grenade goes off. And just 10 because I killed that guy normally. Now we charge up the, uh, the flail gun and boom. Uh, get all those guys for the chain, react chain reaction. And there you go. Three stars.